Carissa macrocarpa, both of these plants right here are. All right, this is a different cultivar, but nonetheless, we're still just gonna consider it Carissa macrocarpa. All right, foliage on Carissa macrocarpa is extremely uh, rigid. So the most rigid probably that we've seen. So it snaps right in half without much uh, trouble. All right, this particular form is a, a very rounded uh, shape. Also, on this particular form, in, a, in fact, on most natal plums, you'll see a, sort of a mucronate tip, all right? So it's almost, it's got that little uh, sharp, little bristle tip out on the edge. It's not real sharp, like you, it's not gonna hurt you, but it's still there, all right? On this other one, this is the typical, I believe this is the species type. Uh, you still see the little mucronate tip there on the edge. And it's all, a lot of times it is kind of curved under. But you see that the leaves are different shapes. Uh, this one's a little more rounded, and this one's a little, more, a little bit more elongated. Uh, newer uh, branches will be this green color, sort of more fleshy. The older ones will become more mottled and woody. But uh, one of the most interesting characteristics of natal plum is this sympodial, uh, I don't know if you can technically call it sympodial thorns or not, but they're, they're two sets of two thorns. All right, so you notice that they're always Y-shaped and they're always more than one set together. All right, so you've got thorns here and thorns here that sort of go together. Okay. Uh, another thing is th this has aphids all over it, so aphids aren't gonna hurt you. That smells really, really nice to most people. Some people don't like the smell so much. Uh, but it's a very sweet smell on the particular bloom. And then, this is a natal plum, right here. All right, and I will warn, these are edible. They're, uh, but don't eat them in here because I've sprayed them all sorts of chemicals and things in here to try to keep things out. Uh, these natal plums are very mealy. They, uh, they say they taste pretty good, but they're, but they're mealy, okay? So again, please don't eat them in here. You'll end up getting pretty sick. Uh, but at some point in time, maybe we can get some in there. Right. So realize you've got these, uh, these rounded leaves. They're opposite leaf arrangements. Okay. You've got these plums. Uh, birds eat these like crazy. So uh, if you can ever find one that's outside <coughs> of being eaten by a bird, you're in, doing well. And then you get these two sets of two thorns that are also unique. Okay. White flowers that smell really nice. They also have the, they're four petal, but they also have a sort of plumeria like pinwheel look. All right.